Let's go over what field codes are, how they work, and the options you have available. Field codes are pieces of text that you can insert into all templated items. This includes email templates, rental agreements, theme header and footers, and hosted website header and footers. There are many built-in fields for everything in the system, which you can see by using the Insert Field button on any template editor. Let's go take a look. First we'll go to Settings, then go down to Messaging. We'll go to Email Templates, then we'll look at this template, Welcome. Here we see we already have some field codes entered into this email. The first code will bring in the guest name. This code will bring in the property name, then the check-in and check-out dates, and then your first name. You can view all field codes for this booking template by clicking Insert Field. Here you will see account field codes, booking field codes, property field codes, and utility field codes. Let's start with account. These are useful for pulling in information about yourself. First name, last name, your company name, possibly your email address, your company URL, phone number, and much more. If we go to the bookings tab, these are all the field codes that can pull in information about the booking. The booking ID, the arrival date, departure date, they can pull in the cleaning date, the guest's first and last name, the guest's email address, how many guests are in the party, the number of adults, children, and much more. Under property, this is where you can pull in any information about the property, such as the property name, like we already did in that email, the address of the property, the bedrooms, bathrooms, max amount of guests, and much more. Under utility, you can pull in other useful information, like the current date, the current day of the week, and the current year. This can be useful for something like a rental agreement where you'd like the current date to be added when the guest signs the agreement. Each type of template will have different fields accessible depending on what it is for. This for instance is a booking template, which is why we saw the booking field codes. If we go and create a new email template and make an inquiry email template, then click insert field, we'll see we have inquiry and quote as new options. Under quote we see we can pull in the quote ID, the expiration date, the guest's first name, last name, and many more options. Under inquiry, we can pull in the inquiry ID, again the guest's first name and last name, and a lot more information about the guest who's inquiring. If we create a payment template, then click insert field, we'll see we have the payment tab. This can pull in things like the card type, the billing first name and last name, a check number, the billing email address, and much more. Let's go take a look at our welcome email template. Let's say we want to add the property's internet instructions to this email. We'll add another line, then go to insert field, then go to property, scroll down, and here we see internet instructions. Over to the right, we see what this will pull in. This will pull in the internet instructions for the property from the guest instructions tab under the property. Let's go ahead and click insert. And here we see it added the field code. We'll go ahead and click save. Now if we go to the property, select the property, go down to guest instructions, and here we see we can add guest instructions for check-in type, check-in instructions, directions, internet info, and house manual. Let's click the change button. Then scroll down to internet info. Here we'll add the Wi-Fi info. Now click save. Now if we go back to that email template, and click the preview button, we'll see it pulls in the Wi-Fi info that we just added to the guest instructions. You can also stylize the field codes after you set them. If we want to make the internet instructions bold, simply highlight the field code, then click bold. Now if we preview this, 
we'll see the internet instructions are now bolded. If we'd like to take the bold off, simply do the same, click preview, and now it's not bolded anymore. If we'd like to do something like only bold the password, go back to the properties tab, select the property, go to guest instructions, click change, then go down to internet instructions. We'll go ahead and highlight and bold the password, and then click save. Now if we go back to that email template, and click the preview button, we'll see that only the password has been bolded. This works the same way for pulling in check-in instructions, directions, or anything else that you put in the guest instructions area on the property. If we go to our rental agreement, then select our agreement, we'll see this already has a lot of field codes. For instance, this right here brings in the property name and we have many more scattered throughout this agreement. You can preview email templates and rental agreements by clicking the preview button at the top. This will show you a live view of what the agreement or email template will look like with the field codes filled in. Here we see it pulled in the property name and everything else that the other field codes were supposed to pull in. You also have the option of storing new values. This could be for anything such as door lock codes, local attractions, or in the case of a legal agreement, an area that you would like required for the guest to fill in. If we go on the left side and go under messaging, we'll see custom field definitions. Here's where you can create a new field definition. Once you click that, you can select the type. You have the option of selecting booking, property, or account. If you select booking, the field definition that you create can only be used for the booking. If you select property, this will be changed on the property level. If you select account, this will be changed under your account settings. Let's go ahead and select booking. Let's say that we want the guest who's signing the rental agreement to be required to fill in the names and ages of everyone who's staying at the property. First, we'll give it a name. We'll call this name and age. Next, the merge code. This needs to be in all caps. We'll just say name and age. Down here, we can select a couple options. Display no, display yes optional, or display yes required entry. Because we want the guest to be required to enter this before being able to sign the rental agreement, we would like to click yes required. We can also sort. If we would like to have multiple entries that the guest must be required to put information in, and we had multiple fields of the same thing, such as car one, car two, if we wanted the guest to enter information about their cars, then you would label this one, and you'd label the next one two. Because we're gonna have one field for the name and age, we're going to leave this alone. You can also enter a description if you'd like and set this based on the property. Let's go ahead and click save. Now we'll go back to our rental agreement, select the agreement, then we'll scroll to the bottom. Here we'll add a line and say enter the name and age of all guests. Then we'll add the field code. Simply click insert field, go to the booking tab, then scroll down. Here we see under custom fields, we have the name and age field that we just created. We'll click insert, then click save. Now when a guest goes to sign the rental agreement, they will be required to enter the name and age of all guests. Now let's say we want to add a footer to our rental agreements and email templates. Simply go down and select theming, then select the account. Here we see we have the option of adding a header and footer for the emails, a header and footer for the forms, and a header and footer for the legal agreements. Let's go ahead and add a footer for an email template. We'll go ahead and click the insert field button. Let's go ahead and pull in our full name. Then we'll click enter and go back to field codes. Now we'll pull in our email address. Now if we click save, 
and then go to our email templates, select our welcome email, then click preview. We'll see on the bottom of our email template, we have our full name and our email address. Now that we have the theming set up, we can delete our first name from the email template. Let's click close, then select the my first field code and select delete. Now click save. Now if we go back and preview, we see that that is gone and we have the theming taking care of the footer. You can set themings for each of these differently. If you'd like the legal agreement to have the same but also have your phone number, simply go back, add your full name, add your email address, then add your company phone number. Now click Save. Now if we go take a look at our legal agreement, then hit the preview button at the top, we'll see it has pulled in our full name, our email address, and our company phone number. The field code we added for name and age of all guests does not show, but it will show as a required field that the guests must enter when going through the rental agreement process. To learn more about all the field codes we offer, click the question mark, then click help. This will take you to our support docs. If you scroll down under messaging, click more, then go to field codes list. You'll see we have 11 different types of field codes and there are quite a lot. That is what field codes are, how they work, and the options you have available.